may call him a legend, others may call him a work colleague. This is Neville Wilson. He has been in the engineering industry for 51 years and he's going to tell me all about the Belia Smart Turn 2 S machine here at White House Machine Tools. Thank you for agreeing to do this, Neville. That's quite all right. <laughs> so, okay, tell me about the Smart Turn 2. What does the name mean? Right, Smart Turn, it's, it's literally what it says. It's smart because it can work on both swindles it is not just a lathe, it is also a milling machine. Okay, so tell me the stats on this machine. It's a one cast it, it, machine. It's, it's one cast, it is heavy duty, no fabrication. The spindles you can have in various options, of which this spindle on this machine is up to 102 diameter, bar through the spindle. Right, okay, so you could have so a you bar can, feed. You can then put a bar feed on the end of it, which will accept four inch diameter bar and the spindle will handle it without any problem because it is a 40 kilowatt spindle motor wow which means high torque at low rpm so it is ideal for exotic materials and you've got it's a twin spindle so ultimately what's this machine aimed at who's it aimed at this is aimed at production people who do not wish to move parts between machine and machine to complete the operation. They would rather have the machine finishing the parts in one operation. So bar feed material in, finished job out of the machine. Exactly. And um, the two spindles there, are they both the same power? Yes, they are. You've got the same power on each, which means you can then turn at the same power Depth of cut, spindle speeds. Normally, sub spindles have a compromise with lower torque. These spindles are the same torque. And if you don't want a sub spindle, have you got other options? Sub spindle is the ultimate option with this machine. You can have it without a sub spindle, or you can have it with a tail stock. Now, what you put on the second end is optional. People don't wish to put chucks on, collet chucks on second. They would just use it as a three-axis lathe. Oh, OK. But really, ultimately, this is the euphoria of This is machine. euphoria in the fact that you can get finished parts off in one operation. So tell me about all the milling capabilities. Well, the milling capability on this machine is, is an 8,000 RPM HSK 63 spindle with through coolant, rigid tapping capability, full milling capability with the fact you have a y-axis which is minus 90 mil to plus 120 mil from center line all cycles are there to produce all parts and because the head can swing from working on the main spindle swing through 180 degrees you can then work on the sub spindle using the same tool which assists in completion of parts, one operation. I love that, one operation. We're hammering that point home. How many tools on this machine? 40 tools on this machine. And any other stats that make this ideal for a machine uh, shop wanting that one hit machining? The milling head is actually 20 kilowatt motor. Oh wow, that's powerful, right? That is powerful. And what's that gonna do? That, you will put into that something like 63 face mill. 3 mil depth of cut in stainless, same as you would do on a VMC machining centre. So you're telling me this is a lathe, but ultimately, ultimately you've got the milling capabilities in there as well. You have the milling capability as well. And if it's going to churn out parts, the Swarf conveyor, how does that, is that all? Swarf conveyor is on a timer, it is just a lift conveyor, which is out of the machine into a bucket. And the software? Software is standard fan up control. So why don't you see, any, we just don't see these on the second-hand market, do we? No, because they are so reliable and people get good service from White House and they run and run and run. So you're telling me you've got a machine that runs and runs and runs, works with pretty much all materials and it's coming off in one hit? Correct. And do you know your stuff, Neville? Slightly. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>